one in 13 kids go on to play sports in college. That's around 7% and less than 1.9% will play Division One, Division Two, or Division Three. That makes it a very special day when our area athletes put pen to paper to do so. And that's why we're of course going to shout them out this evening and share in those celebrations of signing day. To start, we'll go to Banning Lewis, a football program that had a lot of success recently. They went 10 and one last season. Today they're celebrating Braden Skinner. He played on both sides of the ball and he has started and played in every game in the history of the program's four years. Skinner will be going to play at Western State as an interior offensive lineman, maybe a center or a guard. He tallied over 100 tackles in his career and Coach Olney spoke very highly of him today saying opposing teams started running the ball away from him. So that just shows his impact on the gridiron for this team. He's known for tons of pancakes and he even ran in a touchdown his sophomore year. How about that? Skinner talked with me this afternoon about what this means to him and about the hard work that it took. The program's only been around for four years, so being the first one to come out of this is it shows that we did it the right way, you know, and putting in all that work really just paid off. A lot of, a lot of it's the off season. I mean, you're, you're always on the field or in the weight room, and I think that's the, the biggest part that I took, you know, to heart was being in the weight room more than everybody else and being on the field more than everybody else, and I think that's what propelled me to be on that next level. Congrats, Braden. Now let's go to Palmer Ridge. The Bears with a big football signing class today. They appeared in yet another state championship game last season. Another season of success for Palmer Ridge means another year of losing some more stellar senior talent. The Bears said goodbye and congrats to five guys, including Thomas or TJ Mabe. He goes on to play at Black Hill State University. Coach Carlson said he brought value to both sides of the ball as a tight end and a D end, and he contributed to the team's culture through leadership. Linebacker and running back Holden Wright will stay in Colorado to play for the University of Northern Colorado in Greeley. His coaches said he makes an impact on both sides of the ball as well thanks to his strong work ethic. Linebacker Owen Miranowski will represent Dort University moving forward. This guy is said to have high energy and that passion for the game of football. Playing on the offensive and defensive lines for the Bears. Then there's Asher Moore. He signed to play for Fort Lewis College today. Coach said he trusted the process at Palmer Ridge. We all know how important that is and he saw the growth in his four years on the offensive line and Cooper Havenar goes on to play for the Merchant Marines. This guy elevated everyone around him according to coaches and his loyalty will be a great addition to a program like the Merchant Marines. Excited for not only them, um, they've, they've been a really big piece of our program over the last four years. A lot of these guys played as sophomores, so really set that culture for us um, over those years and the the standard and excellence that we have at Palmer Ridge as well.